Hi, I'm John, John Franzen. I'm at the second floor performing uh, every day two hours. You can see me live uh, drawing. I'm here with a Belgian gallery, Yoko Uhoda, and uh, I'm by myself. I'm German. I uh, grew up in Belgium. I live in the Netherlands. And um, I think for me, it's a drawing, it's a lot about, um, about the, the inner aspect of being an artist. Um, it's, uh, I, I really think I'm a draw by myself, and it's my spirit, my way of thinking. Uh, I always see it a little bit in uh, a way of uh, deconstructing um, my reality or my perception of my world. And um, the thing is that, th that that's just something for me in, in drawings that they are made, not necessarily made on paper. You can even draw on the ground or on a wall or in, in kind of stones, doesn't matter what, and you don't need a, like a, a pen or like a brush or something. Um, it's, I think it's a way of thinking and a way of investigating um, as an artist um, towards your reality or creation itself. And I think for me it's, Painter are kind of the, the filling surfaces more, and um, drawers they're, they're they're actually cutting spaces. But it's it's for me it's very spiritual or mystical action actually. And in my performance upstairs, it, I mean you, we have some slides here. Um, you see me drawing and how it looks like. Um, so I have. I, was, I studied arts four years in uh, Belgium, five years in the Netherlands, and the uh, Netherlands was quite, quite classical education, and we did a lot of scientific uh, illustrations. And while doing uh, scientific illustrations, you really see that a lot of people, they're drawing very detailed um, pieces of a body, and which was interesting for me is uh, without noticing unconsciously, you're holding your breath while concentrating. Um, <laughs> and it's like up to, 10 to 20 seconds sometimes. People are drawing four to six hours and they're sitting there and holding their breath and, and drawing then and concentrating. I do that when I take pictures on my phone. Yeah? yeah. There are people also doing it with, with shooting. Uh, I haven't done that. <laughs> but it could be possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a, very, uh, it's a practice in meditation as well. I mean, it's about... Uh, those students, they're doing unconsciously, but in meditation, you actually consciously breathe, um, which is very interesting for me later on with my drawings. So um, what I thought, that why do I have to actually, it's my artist's perspective, and it's very personal, why do I have to draw a face, a tree, a landscape, something, like why do I have to go um, kind of reinterpret the outside world on, on my, I'm mostly using paper, uh, what is drawing itself actually for me? What is it, where does it start? And it starts with me as a human, being an artist. As a human, I'm, I'm breathing, I have a heartbeat, I have my brain working, hopefully. And the thing is, like, um, if I start a drawing, if I draw a face, let's say, I start with a point and a line. So the basic sequence of a drawing itself is actually a line for me. And it's a kind of a, um, like, a se like a DNA sequence. So it's, it's, in my drawings, I'm starting with a line on the left side, breathing out while drawing a line. So they, and they call each line one breath. That's the title of the series. And um, I'm doing another line next to it, breathing out again, and then next to it, breathing out again. So I'm just breathing my lines. And what the thing is, that it's a very deconstructing way of creating. Un unconsciously, it came to that point, actually. That, I don't know why, maybe through my my personality, my spirit, my way of thinking, I was always asking myself, well, what's the source, what's the real meaning of, of being a human, of being an artist? What, what's actually the role of a creator and an artist and an image and an observer? Where does it start? Where is it? And so the thing is, like, I was deconstructing it to a line and to my existence of it as a human by, by breathing. So f through my breath, I'm, I'm alive. I have uh, oxygen in my body, in my blood, in my organs, in my muscles, and it gives me the ability to think, and to feel, and to perceive reality, which I actually really need to be an artist and a creator. John, is there a difference when you do this in the public realm and you do it in your studio? Do you, do you find, 
you know, compos I mean, obviously there, there might be more, many more distractions and yeah. other things. I mean, it seems that this is uh, almost a borderline trance state or meditative state, yes. but, uh, you know, obviously with more activity around you, has yeah. it, does that change your composition in any way? Does it change the way that you're thinking about, mm -hmm. I mean, you say you always start on one side and kind of go to the other side, yes. left to right? Um, it definitely is a difference. In uh, audience, it's um, putting a lot of pressure on me. It's a, a social pressure, sure. It's, but the thing is, uh, for me, very important is um, while performing, while doing a, a drawing, is um, performing the, uh, being alone or with audience, performing the act of creation in um, kind of, how can I say that? Um, so I'm, it's an, a mystical state or spiritual state of, of, of being. And um, so um, while breathing, I'm kind of tr transcending my, my mind. And um, so I'm, I'm, re repeating the li I'm repeating the lines and breathing. So my mind is kind of going into a state of more feeling than knowing. And um, for me, it's always very important to perform a state of being connected to the world around me and building a bridge to my inner world. It's a kind of a thing of um, that I can um, feel you here in the room or the world around me, which I actually am not seeing if I'm in my studio, feeling the people existing there, feeling the air around me, feeling uh, the nature, let's say, or like existence itself. And um, while standing there up um, in the on the second floor do doing my drawing and people are around me, then it's, uh, I really have to relax my mind and my emotions, not to be distracted too much. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm breathing and there are people coming and I feel them and they look at me and they look at the drawings and that kind of, my mind is kind of shifting towards them. It's, and that's quite spiritual for me because I, I sometimes I try, I, I feel them, I see them and I see what my mind is doing. So I'm, I'm distracted. And on the other hand, I have another part of my mind is actually saying, just let it go. Eh? And, and this act of um, interacting with spirits around me or inside of me, it feels like changing energies, changing my energy, changing the energy of the people around me. And I think creation actually starts there somehow while um, um, being conscious about the world around me, inside of me, and creating something, um, devoting myself to my rhythm of life, my, just my breathing or my heartbeat, and connecting to other people, and relaxing the whole state. And while doing it again and again, this, the straight lines, they're starting to be wavy, kind of. And um, I think it's a kind of an allegory to life that I'm, um, I, I think life is doing it in the same way. Like it's, you see it with how uh, like in dunes and waves and grass and trees or hairs, how nature forms things and materialize from from just being energy into into something. Uh, yeah, like a, like matter. Yeah. Are, are, John, are there any, any other rules that other than the breath that you employ when you're making these? I mean, kind of uh, other than going from one side to the other. W how do you know when you're done? Uh, just, I have a frame before, so I'm just having a paper, I draw a frame, it's like the last ones are around, and I'm just starting on the left side and going to the right. If I end at the frame, and then, then it's done. Have you ever just ended in the middle? Uh, no, never, not really. <laughs> no. okay. People always ask me if I do a mistake, like if, I, if, I, if I do a mistake in between as a super perfectionist, then, then it's done, so uh, I can actually start again. And, um, I'm mostly focusing on the void of the lines, not the line itself. So that's also what's happening to my, my thoughts and my mind, that I'm just like, I'm, I'm not holding a thing, concentrating on this, what, what I have in my mind right now. It's more about the space around. Mm -hmm. And th that's, that's the mystical side, I think. And uh, what's super interesting for me is right now, I don't, I don't know any of you, you know, so nothing. But we are sitting in this room and that's actually the motive of my drawings. So we, we are breathing right now, and while breathing, we are, the oxygen is going in our body, and then it's coming out again. So I'm breathing in, and I breathe you in right now. It's very intimate without knowing you. We all think, uh, yeah, we have our own life, we're individuals, and, and, um, but maybe it's actually not, because, I mean, like, think about it, where the oxygen is going in our body right now, huh? and it's coming out again. So. I breathe in, and I have all of you inside of me. 
And while standing there, sitting there and drawing, even especially with the performing, I feel the space around me, the people, I breathe in and I draw a line. So it's without that people know, I'm actually drawing their existence. Mm -hmm. And this air and the breath is giving me my existence. So that's the fundamental motive of creation itself, I think. What else can I draw? Why should I draw anything else? As like the, the essence of existing in life, which is my breath, or like my heartbeat, or my, my brain. But that's, that's the thing, and that's how I connect to the people around me. And that's the performance. Even if I'm alone, I could be in a cave, like kind of a, being a priest, meditating. But my mind can go into the world, through the air, I breathe in, and breathe all the air in the oxygen which was in your body, and in your ancestors' body, and all the dinosaurs and plants of the world, which is quite, it's, it's crazy, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, I, I